So here I've just arrived from a 14 hour road trip and I'm pretty tired, but I actually have to unpack them the same day that I arrived because of the rain that I hit. It was just a little bit of rain, not a lot, but um, I still have to check to make sure that everything's dry and thankfully it was. Wrapping and traveling with these were pretty intense because I constructed uh, the frame out of cedar, which is a soft wood. So with the bungee cords and the travel and everything, I just had to make sure that there weren't going to be any indentations in the wood. So of course, it also takes a long time to unpack them because it takes a long time to pack them. <laughs> but everything turned out well in the end. So here I'm working um, from the back side. Uh, there are 16 hinges that I had to mortise. That's 32 mortises, both sides of the hinge, uh, to piece these panels together. I actually kept the hinges in place and just took the pins out for travel. Um, and I am now putting the pins back in carefully, not all the way in, so this way I don't have a hard time uh, when it comes time to take this apart. Right now I'm lining up the holes for the screws. As I work on this particular piece uh, of the frame, I'm reminded of the test run I did like two months earlier. And good thing that I did because I found that that piece had warped the pine, the two by four had warped tremendously. Um, and I had to redo that piece. Um, I didn't want to redo the cedar because of the color, the stain. I knew I would not get it the same. So I actually had to get my Dromo Max out to cut through the glue. Um, I had used nail gun and glue to put it together. So that was pretty messy, uh, but this is why we do tests. So it all worked out in the end. brought all of the hardware with me for hanging for this piece and after speaking to the head person at the venue um, they were instrumental in being able to give me sort of an idea as to the best way to do it I kept thinking that I, all of the tightening and those kinds of things would have to happen after someone was sort of holding it in place but he had a much better idea which is to put two C clamps up at the two top steel beams that we were hanging it from and doing actually all of the work on the ground with the hardware so this way all we have is a loop and then we just put it in and thankfully the hardware that I brought was just that it was supposed to be just a loop so I'm tightening that and setting the proper length on both sides as best as I can so that it's level so that when we lift it it just goes right into those C clamps and in place. Mm -hmm. 